Hey, what's up everybody? Donnie here. Welcome back to another video. So good to have you. Tonight we're going to be fishing with uh, artificial lures. I am throwing the Miradine right now and we might throw paddle tails later. We're just uh, fishing these flats right here, trying to get redfish, snook, whatever bites. If we get like a ladyfish or something, um, we'll cut them up and send them out there. See if there's any redfish around, but that's what we're using today. And we're going to put some of this uh, Dr. Juice on the uh, Miradine. Soaked it with Dr. Juice. Gotta have scent, guys, when you're fishing at night with the uh, artificial lures. It does help. Oh, yeah. And it's dripping. Dr. Juice. Come on. Hopefully, something nice bites it. What is this? There's bait. Oh, that's not bait. That's a trout. We can't use that as bait, guys. This little speckled trout. Look how small. The baby. Little guy. See ya. Good fish, guys. Yes, sir. That might be a redfish. Good fish. Good fish. Beast redfish. <laughs> We're gonna take our time on him. Man, he slurped up that Miradine. Listen to that drag screaming. Yes, sir. A good one. Hopefully new dolphins come around. Come on. Yeah, that's a good one, boys. Alright guys, he might be beat, hopefully. Hopefully he's a decent one, man. It feels like he's a decent one. We're gonna have to bring him all the way down there to the beach. Oh, he's, he's still way out there. It's all right, we're still we're walking them. Hopefully new dolphins show up. That XS3000 going to work <laughs> on the medium light Zodius. All right, looks like he's beat, man. I don't, I'm not sure how big he is, but uh, he's pretty decent. What a beast, man. He slurped up that Meridine. Wow. Got him. Got him. Ooh, my rod. Look at that beast. Bull red. <laughs> what a tank Meridine all over that mouth check that out man Ooh. all right let's get a picture and then uh, put this guy back in the water all right guys pretty solid man he's about probably 15 10 15 pounds I'm gonna put him in the water right here damn what a beast the bull red for sure man wow one last look what a tank Whew. all right Let's see ya. here's a tip for you guys when you guys are fishing with the miradine or hooks that's like small like that size and if you hook onto a really big redfish or a snook Try not to tighten the drag down because I know I, I've, I've been there. I've done it. Once I hook onto a fish, I used to just try to tighten the drag down and try to bring the fish in. But that's how you lose a fish. That's how the hooks get bent when you put too much drag pressure on the on the fish. Just play them right, lighten the drag up a little bit. And um, when the fish tires out, then put some more pressure on them and, uh, and bring them in. But try not to horse them. What a beast. <laughs> He slurped up that freaking Miradine, guys. I don't know what that that was. Might be another red. Might be, oh yeah. That's another redfish, guys. What a beast. <laughs> slurped it up, man. Man, he... It's as if I'm using a topwater lure, the way he smashed it. Might be about the same size as the other one. Might be bigger, I don't know. This is intense. <laughs> so pumped right now, man. 
Yeah, that's definitely a redfish. Yeah, he's way out there. That accents, man, going to work. On a medium light, guys, 10 pound uh, braid, 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. Let's hope this, uh, let's hope the hooks don't, don't straighten out and I lose the fish. But we're gonna take our time on it and we're going from there because these fish aren't aren't small, man. They're they're pretty pretty solid, solid fish. Probably a 15 pounder, 10 to 15 pound fish. Man, he smoked that Meridine. Jeez, let's go. Putting this reel to the test. This reel has 20 20 pounds of max drag, and I'm not, I'm not even using like full on 20 20 pounds. Otherwise, the line was snapped. <laughs> We're only using 10 pound braid and a 25 pound leader. Man, when he first hit it, gosh, he started stripping drag, full of energy. Mouthful of Meridine, about the same size. I think the other one, the first one I caught was uh, bigger, honestly, but no, he's about the same size. Watch, once, once you get down here, it's, uh, it's, it's different. Oh. Please don't shake your head. Meridine just comes right off. Look at that hook, look how small the hook is, man. Didn't straighten out yet. Check that out, man. What a tank. Probably 15 pounder right there again. 12, 12, 15 pounder. Good deal. All right, man. Second one of the night. Pumped. Let's put him back in the water. Solid one, man. Jeez, these guys are freaking bruisers. He's ready. Ready to go. One last look. What a tank. Ugh. Thanks for the catch, buddy. See ya. All right, guys. Two redfish so far. Man, I am so stoked right now. These redfish, man, they fight pound for pound. They're so strong. Redfish fishing is like, is like right up there with snook fishing for me. But same lure. Those are size one inline BMC hooks. Man, that last bite was insane. And we're only fishing in two feet of water, right? So when I'm twitching this bait back to me, it's barely below the surface. So when he came charging at the bait, you can see him thrashing and just going crazy all over that bait. He was fired up. That was like one of the coolest takes ever in two feet of water. <laughs> Insane. So we're fishing with Meridine right now. And for some of you guys that don't know how to work a suspending twitch bait, so all you want to do is just cast it out there and twitch, pointing the rod tip low. Twitch, mix up the twitches. Twitch, twitch, pause. Twitch, pause. Just, just mix it up, really simple. And make sure you're using a loop knot on that uh, that lure so it gives it more action. All right, guys. So the bite just completely stopped. I don't know. I think the the water got too low and the fish moved out. So we're going to go to a different spot and uh, try our luck over there. We just got to um, one of my one of my spots, one of our favorite spots, and uh, we switched up to the voodoo shrimp. Let's put Dr. Juice on him, juice him up real good, get that scent going in the water. Here we go, man. Looks like the water is outgoing right now, and it's moving pretty good. Hopefully, I don't get stuck because uh, a lot of there's a lot of rocks here. So. First fish. What is this here? What is that? Slurped it up though. What is it? Oh, it's a ladyfish. Come on. Ladyfish. Oh, yeah, she's thrashing like crazy. You know, that's, that's my first fish on the voodoo shrimp. I usually don't fish with the voodoo shrimp, but uh, that's a, that's a beast of a ladyfish, man. 
Jeez. Digging. She's hooked pretty good. Make sure when you grab when you grab ladyfish guys, get a firm grip on them. Because if you if you don't, they'll thrash like crazy. And if you do if you use uh treble hooks, you might stick yourself. So it's always good to get a good firm grip on them. Alright, see ya. Alright guys, that's gonna be a wrap, man. It's getting a little late. It's about like 12 o'clock. It's bedtime for me. I don't know about you guys. Actually I go to sleep before 12. Probably like 10, 10, 11. Sometimes I'll go to bed at like 8 o'clock. Don't judge me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to pick up Dr. Juice, um, it's free. Just got to pay for shipping. I'll leave the link down in the description box below. And the outfit we're using for today is a Shimano Zodiaz 7 foot medium light paired up with the Shimano Accents 3000 10 pound um, Power Pro, 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. The winner lure for tonight is the Meridine with the inline hooks. And if you guys want to pick up the Meridine, I'll leave the link down in the description box below as well. What a night! Two really nice redfish. I was not expecting to catch those redfish. Honestly, I don't really fish at night. You guys probably know that. But um, there's going to be more night fishing videos in the future. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.